What is up everybody? It's your boy Skeptic Shot here and I got a request from one of my good friends and brothers that I should do a workout video on my workout routine and everything, you know, on my routine. Pretty much I I'd change it up day by day, but I pretty much do the same thing. Anyways, shout out to you man you know who you are shout out to all my viewers and my subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel and i'm hoping i'm able to bring you what you want and the inspiration you want anyways here's this workout video i get about like 30 or 40 minutes in you know start out first like 10 or 20 minutes at least, in my opinion, before stretch everything from your arms to your legs. Just get loose, you know. Sorry guys, this is what I look like in the morning. I'm wearing a hat, I got, I got bad bed hair. So first what I do is I get my 20 pound dumbbells, first I start doing some curls basically, do about 10 of those, 10 reps, 2 sets, so here I go, and this is how I do it. Take a little rest period, you know. I had my jacket on, but I'll take it off. Because it's winter time, but I'm getting warmed up, so. I'll take my hat off, too, you know. My hair is messy, y'all. I apologize. I don't freshen up that much in the morning. But my hair is like a mess right now. Anyways, that's my first set, 10 reps, one set, and another 10 reps. These are 20 pound dumbbells, by the way. I've learned time under tension. Shout out to Mike Chang on Six Pack Shortcuts on Tension. you notice I do I mean I don't put my back far back because then I hurt your back real bad but um I do use my back in a sort of sense because I, I don't really have anywhere to do preacher curls or anything like that let me know your comments down below everybody on preacher curls and on my routine and everything, well, as I said, I switch it up day by day, so. So take a little rest. Now what I'm gonna do, and I learned this from Kino Body, shout out to Kino Body. 
One last shoulder workout. I recently watched Superman, Man of Steel, and I saw how he had his physique and everything, and I went like, damn, this dude is jacked. And, uh, I want to be jacked like that. Have a body like that, you know, for a skinny guy like me. So this is a shoulder workout. I don't know. Do a little bit at a time, you know. Gotta get my grip too. I got these right here from Hot Topic when they had a sell on their tank tops and I wear it most of the time whenever I work out. Check out Kino Body, y'all. He's a cool person. And his program's awesome. And check out Six Pack Shortcuts, Mike Chang. Shout out to them both. First set out of the way. It's for basically shoulders. Come in closer for real. reminds me, you always want to have water. Keep hydrated, you know. Don't think you're invincible without water. You know what I mean? Gotta have that water. Get them arms pumping, get the blood flowing. Next, basically, I do flies. And then I think the next exercise, which I apologize guys, I'm not that savvy with uh, the names and everything, is a uh, down that pullover standing up. Not careful doing these kind of workouts. I mean, 
you don't, I mean, it's going to be coming regular when you're doing stuff like this. You'll get uh, strain in your wrist, unless you got wrist guards or whatever. You know, I know some guys use those. I haven't been doing my other videos, my gaming commentaries, Call of Duty and all that stuff, you know. Just because my computer's down and my internet's down, so we're in the process of getting that fixed and saving up for a new computer. Last set. take a lot of rest, you know, take about like 10 or 15 seconds in between. Don't want to get, get yourself gassed, you know. Keep that water on deck. I don't have a tripod, so I'm using some V8 juice to put my camera on to mount my camera on. I still drink soda, but it's not on the days I work out, but I'm going to try to stop it because I know it gets to like joint pain and everything and arthritis. And it's like water has become my best friend, you know. I want more water now than I want to have soda. It's like soda is the worst thing me now. Here's my dumbbell pullover. It's basically just standing. As you can see in the back, there's a bench, but our house owner, he doesn't even let us use it. He uses it at a shelf, which I think is stupid, but that's all him. No judgment. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, I know some of y'all might say that's not safe how I swing the weight over, but um, I'm, I'm working on being more careful, you know. I have bumped myself in the head like three weeks ago with the weight, but not too bad. Just be careful when you're dealing with weights in general. Heavy or light, you know. getting hot in here. Get that good workout in. Get your blood flowing. Get your motivation up. Get your mind right. You know. That's some things 
I try to focus on nowadays because it's hard to be positive nowadays, but stay working out, stay up, you'll be alright. I forgot the name of this workout, but I'm going to be starting doing this workout. I forgot what it was, but you can post in the comment section down below. I think it might be called side curls or something, but I know it's for your chest. So I'm going to do that lastly. Do about 10 reps, 2 sets. Good for the chest, as I looked up on a video yesterday on uh, Buff Dudes, shout out to Buff Dudes on YouTube. My other arm, my left arm is mainly my hard arm, but I'm going to try it. Got to get that grip right too. See how I struggle with my left arm. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's the same for you, y'all. What's your main strong arm, you know, your left or your right, and what's your weakest arm? I've been working out since high school, you know, I've took weight classes, ROTC, all that stuff. <sighs> My coach actually used to call me Big Al, which was kind of funny. You know, that was a cool nickname I like. You know, I did gym, I did weightlifting, I did ROTC. Try to stay out of trouble, you know, because I was Kind of an attitude guy when I was in high school. I had an attitude. And you know, I still do, but I've become better and you set goals for yourself and you get better as you grow up and you want to better yourself. Now for the last set, the well, last set of side curls, I think it's called, I'm not sure. gets the burn in your arm. I get 
could tell this is going to be a long upload. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake, shake it off. Oh, I'm being stupid. You know, guys, I'm a goof, but I know. Just try to remember times to be serious and time to be a goof. There's a time for everything. As you can tell, I'm getting out of breath. As you can see, I do struggle on some things. Any tips or pointers, let me know, guys, down below. This video is kind of running long. But I will show y'all some of the push ups I do. You know, like I said, I'm doing. 100 push-ups a day for 20 days. I'm on my 12th day today. I'm not going to do them all on camera, but um, I'll do some of them. Do about one or two of them, or maybe three. But I start out doing regular push-ups or marine push-ups, you know, shoulder length. Do about 10 reps. Two sets, well, 10 reps, and about, no, 20, 20 reps, and uh, for my regular push ups and for my wide grip, I do 10 reps. So it's about four sets of 20, two sets of 10. Something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering and Get these push-ups started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. regular set get ready for the next one then I'll see y'all later it's my last one on camera wide grip for the chest and wide grips a little bit harder it, it removes the motion and everything and uh, but you still get your chest workout in I do abs too, but I'm not really going to show that, you know. For my abs, I usually do bicycles and jackknives. 10 reps, 2 sets of that, and ab pull downs with my cable my mom got me for Christmas. Do about 2 sets of 10 on that. And that's about it, guys.
Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'm your boy, Skeptic Shot here. You can do anything. Just set your mind to it. You can do it. Keep your mind off the off all the bull crap in this world, you know, stuff that tries to get you down and health wise or either psychological or mental, you know, stay away from that stuff and just stay towards the positive stuff, everybody, trust me. It'll be worth it. In the end. Anyways, I'm gonna get off camera. I'm kinda tired, y'all. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Thumbs up the video. Any tips or pointers you'll want from me or y'all can give me, just let me know. Peace out. Stay at it.